did right to be before you. I love myself for that. You began this uh, seminar with giving us a choice, whether we want to talk about our miscreations or lack, or to take thought beyond. Well, I would like to take thought beyond. The thought that I want to take beyond is my love for you and what that means for the future of Abraham Hicks and my, my place in it and feeling comfortable with the fact that at some point in time when Jerry makes his transition or certainly when Esther does that a divine spark of this movement, of this teaching, this flowing will end. And I know that there will be so much in the archives, but the living, breathing spark that exists will not ever exist again. Well, not and in this unique way, in other words, but you've got to know that man has been an extension of that which we are from your first exposure to physical life experience. Mm -hmm. and. Source has never stopped interacting. And while we agree that those who find alignment to the degree that Esther has and that are able to articulate it as clearly and succinctly and with as little clutter as possible, we know that they are unique, but they will always be present. In other words, even now, this room is full of those who are coming into vibrational alignment. Yes, certainly. This I... is not a... Jerry and Esther did not sign on for a movement. In fact, if you use the word Abraham follower to Jerry, he'll do everything he can oh. to stop that from happening. And he I'll does not want that. followers, nor does Esther, nor do we. No question. What, what we are all about from the first word that Esther has translated for us is igniting in you your connection with that which we are. And you've done that to perfection. And nothing would please us or Jerry and Esther more than to hear you say one after another, I've got it, I'm on my own. I've got it, I'm on my own. I'm self self-sufficient, I'm tuned in, tapped in, turned on. And nothing is more pleasing than, as, as different people have brought different things to Jerry and Esther, some from religious science church, some from unity churches, actually we say from literally every church that exists on the earth, there are points of compatibility with that which is happening mm -hmm. here. But sometimes people will bring something like that and they will say, we are trying to hold this, we're trying to hold it in its purity. And we say, then it is dead. We're trying to take these precepts that have been laid out by those who have figured it out, by the Esther of that religion, mm -hmm. by the root of that religion, by the Christ, by the Buddha, by the Muhammad, by the whoever it is. We've tried to take what they have written and we've tried to hold it steady and true. And we say, then it must die because nothing can stand still. Everything must evolve. And this leading edge environment that you are upon is continually evolving. Nothing thrills Jerry or Esther or Abraham more than for someone to take the basis of what they are living and learning here mm -hmm. and apply it through their own guidance system and then reach for something that has never even been discussed in a forum like this under the title of Abraham Hicks and to go far beyond. In other words, this is not the end of anything. There have been yeah. teachers before us and there will be teachers after us in this way. This is just one of the steps along the way. Please do not try to make it more than that. Okay, I understand that. I really do. And what we have here is as unique as a fingerprint. There will not be another like it. And what I want to raise uh, appreciation for and knowing is that there is not another uh, being on the planet that appears as love to me better than Abraham Hicks. And that this, like a stone thrown into a pond, radiates out further and further for generations. And whatever it takes to take this beautiful expression, expressing 
the creative force that goes through Esther as, as you are, whatever it takes to amplify that, to, to bring that forth, I, I would, I would well, we are want all assurance that that happens in some way, well, the we can most give, efficient way possible. Well, we have to give you assurance that it will happen because man continues to ask and source continues to answer and there will always be, continue to be those who come into vibrational alignment. But do you not see that what continues to happen when someone seeks to preserve something mm -hmm. is that it becomes the reason for the battle? More people die in the name of preserving the truth Understood. of their only religion. And we are expressing the opposite of that. We, we want to hear you say, Abraham, I think I'm getting the hang of this. And now I'm going to do my best to express it in my unique way. We would far rather hear that from you than, Abraham, no one has ever said it so purely. And how okay. can we preserve these words? And we say, put them in a can, bury them in the ground, right. and then fight over them 2,000 years later and use them as your excuse to kill a whole bunch of people. <laughs> That's not what this is about. Yeah, yeah. This is about self-empowerment, you see. Okay. And so we said to Jerry and Esther, they began recording. They've recorded every word that has ever come through Esther right. on our behalf. Every word, or nearly so. They did a radio show with Hay House the other day, and it was not recorded, and right. Esther was stunned. Oh, <gasps> lost Abraham words out there in the universe, in other words. <laughs> and, we've and we've teased them for a very long time. We say, you'd need another lifetime to listen to the recordings. Right. In other words, they, they cannot possibly, no one could possibly keep up some try mm -hmm. gluttons that they are <laughs> but you could not possibly keep up with it and so we want you and we can feel we understand your intent in other words we know that when you have for whatever reason been away from the clarity that causes your alignment when you find it you want to preserve it but we want to say to you that there will be all there will always be those who will make their way to alignment and we also want to say we are not the only path to alignment and we also want to say that the, there will, the path that Esther provides, the channel, the open vortex that Esther provides is just the beginning of many, 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 many more. More and more of you, even as you are listening in an environment like this, are coming to understand that you have as much access to this information as Esther and you are expressing it through your process, Absolutely. you see. Esther's discomfort, and some of this you may be getting a little bit from Esther's discomfort. It is annoying to Esther to have someone listen to the recordings and then write a book from the recordings and then conveniently leave Esther and Abraham and Jerry out of the equation. That is annoying. It's also annoying to see a book that is written that is full of the terminology that Esther has found over 20 years of honing to find expression for and then have them quote Gandhi and a bunch of dead people who never said those words while they are leaving Abraham out who did say those words. But each time she feels that discord within her. She knows that that discord is keeping her away from what she knows to be. In other words, she knows that she cannot be annoyed at them no matter what they're doing and be in alignment. And then she realizes that when she finds the vibration of Abraham, when she becomes a vibrational match to that which is source energy, it doesn't matter how anyone hears. Self-empowerment is the message that we all speak. And wouldn't you just love it? Won't it be an extraordinary environment when so many more people who surround you are feeling worthy rather than unworthy? Won't it be a wonderful world when the majority of people who surround you look at you and don't feel insignificant but see their significance reflected back in you. Don't you just want everybody to know how good they are, you see? I do. And so... To bring this about to the place beyond, the thought beyond that I come forth uh, this afternoon to speak to, all of the great things of the world, this ship is a good example, the Hoover Dam, uh, all great technology were taught in schools and go on to create more and better and beyond. And I don't see the work of Abraham Hicks any less significant than that. 
And oh, so, it is more significant, and it is being taught in a different way. Absolutely. In other words, you can't teach this in a restrictive environment. You can't go to an environment that's based upon comparison. You can't go into an environment that believes in conditional love and teach unconditional love. They just don't get it. That's why this mass that is... Uh, <laughs> expressing as a result of this basis that you're talking about is so exhilarating. In other words, it is the epitome of a grassroots movement. And, and, and we want you to understand that we're not speaking of it in a way where we're wanting you to even say, we certainly are not saying that this is a movement that everyone will eventually be a part of. That isn't what we mean at all. What we mean is that the laws of the universe are established in such a way that individuals individual life experience is selfishly oriented and every perspective emphatically cares about how it feels and as more people like yourself and like Jerry and Esther are deliberately feeling good and expressing through the example of their life the benefit of feeling good and are taking every opportunity to fine tune it in their own life and then speak about it to those who ask and who are ready to hear all that's happening is that what inevitably happens anyway happens more deliberately and that's what makes it more fun you see no one could ever hear of Jerry and Esther or of Abraham and still the movement would be taking place because people are inherently selfish and they are always asking and source is always answering and people are very clever at finding a variety of different ways that they get into the allowing mode do you know that those who gather in synagogues and temples and churches all over the world are actually finding their way of getting into the state of allowing and it does not matter to source what excuse they use to allow in other words whatever floats your cork whatever rings your bell whatever you can do to feel better in your moment then you are allowing you see and then here's the big picture and here's the thing that you're sort of stewing over and we understand your feeling about this but First, we want to say that Esther will outlive almost all of you. In other words, she is here with the intention of doing this for a very long time. And Jerry has already outlived most of you. In other words, there's no ending to that which he is either. And so what we're wanting you to understand is that all of you are going to die. You're going to croak. All of you are going to reemerge into non-physical. And all of you are going to reemerge back into physical. And all of you are going to find your path again. And each time you come back, because of what's taking place here, it will be easier and easier and easier and easier for you to find your path. But you know what? You're not looking for easy. You're looking for variety. You're looking for contrast. You're looking for reason to desire. Because you're hooked on what we're hooked on. You know what that is? We're all hooked on the eternal nature of our being you see right. and so you cannot get up to speed with who you are if you are for one minute worrying about your longevity or mm -hmm. Esther's longevity or Jerry's longevity because that's not a vibrational match you are eternal there is no reason to worry about longevity yes. and we're not going anywhere we're just getting yeah. bigger and louder <laughs> you see and easier to find and easier to hear mm -hmm. and the and the nucleus of your planet is becoming more and more receptive to this in other words these are the best of times Jerry and Esther could walk the plank tomorrow and as far as as any of you would be concerned not another word would be uttered through this format and it would not matter at all not because the archives have been preserved but because the word is out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my thing. thank you